hello my dear students i am nsk and uh, this is from my physics channel eco physics i daily post videos uh, uh, with regards to class 11 and 12 physics those who are preparing for je and neat so the video is uh, released at uh, 7 pm in today in today's topic discussion i'm going to take up this uh, concept of terminal speed or terminal velocity what you call okay now this comes in the fluid mechanics topic now let us first understand what is terminal velocity suppose i take a container and i drop a object inside this initially what happens is this object goes at a higher speed after some time the object attains a constant speed okay constant speed that constant speed is called terminal velocity now why it attains a constant speed so we need to check what are the forces which are acting on the body so its weight will be acting downwards because it is under water there will be up thrust force which we call it as buoyancy force it will be acting upward direction in addition to this there will be a drag force there will be a drag force which is given by stokes law it is also acting on the body why drag force is acting means the the solid uh, molecules are in contact with the liquid molecules so there will be a rupture between the inter particles okay so in equilibrium see in equilibrium what happens w is equal to fb plus fd you know that in a state of equilibrium f net is equal to 0 If f net is equal to zero, what is f net? Mass into some acceleration is equal to zero. Mass cannot be equal to zero, so acceleration has to be zero. If acceleration is equal to zero, what is the condition? The velocity becomes constant. That is why the object is moving with constant speed. We need to just frame the equations now. How do I find weight? Density into volume. Let us say the density of the liquid is rho. So rho into volume. Volume of the sphere. Four third. pi r cube this is the mass multiplied by g what is fb fb is equal to volume of solid into density of the liquid into g right so volume of the solid is 4/3 third pi r cube this is from archimedes principle into let us say density of um, the liquid is sigma density of the liquid is sigma so it is sigma times g plus drag force given by the stokes law is 6 pi nita r vt vt means here terminal speed uh, nita is the uh, quotient of viscosity r is the radius of the radius of the sphere i will take it capital r okay so you got to simplify this let us send all these terms this side so if i take 4 by 3 pi r cube common multiplied by g i am getting rho minus sigma equal to 6 pi nita r v so one r we can cancel two threes two twos so if you simplify you finally get 2 by 9 r square by um r square into g by nita rho minus sigma this is the expression for terminal speed Thank you for your time. Take care.